Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am here to talk about the fragrances that I have in my collection that contain honey. So some of these have a very prominent honey note. You can really, really smell it in the bottle on the skin. Some of these, they contain honey, but the honey is just kind of mixed so well within everything that you can't really detect like a strong, strong honey fragrance. So I think there's a little bit of something for everybody in here. So if you're not a huge fan of honey, um, some of these fragrances I think would still be okay because you wouldn't really, really smell the honey. And then some of them are have a very prominent honey note that um, if you don't enjoy that, you might want to stay away from. I will definitely tell you uh, as we're going through them which ones are which. So the first ones that I want to start with are... A I've got a few fragrances from Sucre Belle that uh, actually contain a lot of honey in them. And um, the first one that I want to talk about is called It's a Trap. So I just have these little drams. Um, these I love Sucre Belle. If you guys have not checked out this indie house, you definitely need to. They make some of the most stunning fragrances. Oh gosh, they sm they just smell like heaven, I mean for real. So this is uh, a freshly baked vanilla cupcake topped with buttercream and marzipan sprinkled with burnt sugar and a small drizzle of honey, uh, yeah, and a small drizzle of honey and a faint hint of wormwood. So you can definitely smell the honey in here, but it's not like super overpowering. Um, it's present though, so if you're not into honey, like you might want to stay away from this one, but if you like honey, you can definitely smell the honey in this one. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. I love that. I love all my... I haven't met a Sucre Belle fragrance yet that I did not like. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is called Bounty, and this is Blueberry, Lemon, Tahitian, Vanilla, and Honey. This is stunning. The two main notes in this are blueberry and honey. It's like, to me, it's like a freshly baked blueberry muffin drizzled with honey. Oh gosh, it's so, so beautiful. So that is Bounty. And then the third one that I have is my absolute favorite, and this one is called Libertine. And now, It's a Trap and Bounty, I believe, are discontinued fragrances. I just want to tell you that right now. Um, sometimes they still have them, and I think they may still have those available on their website. I'm not sure. They have a section of their discontinued fragrances that I think they're kind of like trying to work through. Um, those might be available. They might not. If not, Libertine is definitely available. I think this is one of their kind of like core fragrances. So Libertine is Spiced Vanilla, Amber, Honeycomb, Black Jasmine, and Palo Santo. This is so beautiful. This you can definitely smell the honey as well, but it's really, really well blended with all the other notes, so it doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb or anything. It's just really, really beautiful. That is my favorite for sure of those three. So those are those three. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is called Eve's Parfum, and this is from Layered. So, this is gorgeous. This has a very strong honey note in it. This is a floral honey, though, and this is beautiful. So, Eve's Parfum is inspired by Nectarine Blossom and Honey from Jo Malone, and this is Nectarine Peach, Green Notes, Black Locust, Black Currant, Pettigrain, Plum, Vetiver, and Honey and it's stunning. It's a fresh honey. This is like a light and fresh honey. And I will tell you, I am saving the ultimate honey fragrance, the best honey fragrance I've ever smelled in my entire life for the very end. So definitely stick through the whole video so you can see what my like holy grail honey fragrance is. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is Velvet Teddy by MAC. So this is one of the decants that my friend sent over and this is beautiful. This one is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, uh, which is funny because all I smelled when I first smelled this 
the only thing I can smell is honey, but uh, after I sprayed it on my skin, that tobacco really, really comes out. Um, do I think it's a dupe? No, but I think it's a close enough cousin to it that you can definitely get the same experience from Velvet Teddy that you do Tobacco Vini. So, mm, this is gorgeous. It's got a very strong honey note in it though. This is Wild Honey and Creamy Musk. That's what it says. I know there are other notes in this though because there's definitely a strong tobacco presence in here, but this is like tobacco and honey. It's really, really beautiful. Okay. The next one I have to talk about is Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. So, this is beautiful. This is one of those fragrances that the honey is so well blended in, you don't really detect the honey like as a single note. This is beautiful. This is one where the honey just adds like a creaminess to the fragrance. So, Sensuous is Lily, Magnolia, Jasmine, Molten Wood and Amber, Sandalwood, Black Pepper, Mandarin Pulp, and Honey. And... It's gorgeous. I love it so much. The next one I have to talk about is L'Instant by Guerlain. This one, like Sensuous, is um, it's more of the honey is lending like a creaminess to it rather than it being a very prominent note. However, I do smell the honey in this more than I do in Sensuous. Um, I definitely can detect it. So, L'Instant is Mandarin, Bergamot, Magnolia, Ylang Ylang, Sambac Jasmine, Vanilla, Benzoin, Musk, and Honey. And it's beautiful. This is a really beautiful, creamy, classy, just warm fragrance. And Sensuous is like a perfect name for that fragrance, but it could also be used for this fragrance. They're, they're kind of similar in the same type of family. Um... Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is an Alexandria fragrances uh, fragrance, and this is Fade to Black. So, <sighs> Fade to Black is a dupe or a clone for um, Killian Back to Black. So, this is another very strong tobacco and, and honey fragrance. Those are the two most prominent notes to my nose is tobacco and honey. This is a beautiful, like, pipe tobacco drizzled in honey. The honey in this is very, very prominent. It's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. It lasts forever on the skin. So this is white honey tobacco, cherry vanilla, raspberry almond, gingerbread tonka bean, amber chamomile, nutmeg saffron, benzoin, olibanum, patchouli oak, French labdanum, cardamom, Virginia cedar, coriander, geranium, and bergamot. Sorry, this one is a laundry list of fragrances, or of notes. It has a ton in it, but it's gorgeous. Lasts forever on the skin. Really, really good performance out of that one, and I adore it. Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. So, mm, this is coconut and honey. Oh, it's so good. This is my favorite Zara fragrance that I've ever smelled by far. So this is tobacco, coconut, sandalwood, honey, and cedar. My husband has put a pretty darn big dance in this. He has worn it much more than I have. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's full. It's it's a down to about right there. So he he's put a pretty good dent in that. This is stunning. It's sweet. It's creamy. The coconut is beautiful without really smelling like coconut, if that makes any sense. And the honey is very prominent in this one, so really, really beautiful fragrance. Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is Marc Jacobs Honey. <laughs> so, cutest bottle ever. I adore these Marc Jacobs bottles. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is another one where I'm pretty sure honey is supposed to be a very, very prominent note. But to my nose, it's so well blended with everything else that it doesn't stick out to me. Oh, but this is a really nice fragrance. So this is pear, mandarin, orange, punch, honeysuckle, orange blossom, peach, honey, vanilla, and woodsy notes. This is a very light, fresh, airy, fruity fragrance with honey in it that gives it a little bit of creaminess. It's really, really beautiful. 
Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is Serge Luton's. This is Sheer Guy. If I'm saying that right, Sheer Guy. Um, mm. This is like a spiced cake with honey. Like a spiced cake dr drizzled with honey. Mm, it's so nice. So, Sheer Guy is... Tobacco leaf, honey, iris, sandalwood, amber, musk, incense, rose, and hay. Mmm. This is another one that the honey isn't super, super prominent. That's really what this smells like to me. It's like a spice cake drizzled in honey. With some tobacco in the background. Like somebody smoking a tobacco pipe with like sweet tobacco in the next room. And you just baked a spice cake and drizzle it with honey. That's what this smells like. So that is Serge Luton's Shergi. This one that I have to talk about is a love, and this is Poison. This is a vintage bottle of Poison. This is from 1986. This is stunning. This is another one that, it's like I can smell the honey, but there's so many other things going on in here that it's not a super prominent note, but I definitely can detect it. Oh, it's so good. So... Poison is coriander, plum, wild berries, anise, tuberose, Brazilian rosewood, carnation, jasmine, African orange flower, apoponax, cinnamon, incense, rose, honey, vetiver, musk, sandalwood, Virginia cedar, amber, vanilla, and heliotrope. Stunning. Uh, poison is a masterpiece. Okay. And then last but not least, this is my absolute holy grail honey fragrance that I've never smelled a better honey fragrance than this one. If you are looking for a true, you want to smell like honey and the honeycomb and everything that like embodies honey, that would be Zoologist B. Now, I do not have a full bottle of this yet. I will be purchasing a full bottle of this at some point. Uh, my husband and I are about to start um, getting into the process of buying property and building a house and all that, so I'm not, I'm gonna have to kind of cut back on how much I'm spending on perfume for a while, but when I can start spending money again on perfume or if I'm just diligent and save, this is gonna be the first bottle a perfume that I buy like an expensive bottle of perfume. So Zoologist B is orange ginger syrup, royal jelly accord, broom, heliotrope, mimosa, orange flower, benzoin, labdanum, musks, sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. And this is, you want to talk about a masterpiece. This is an absolute masterpiece. I can smell that like royal jelly accord in this. Oh my gosh, it's just the best honey fragrance I've ever, ever smelled in my life. And B is like the perfect name for it because that's what it reminds you of is just like everything that embodies a bee. It's like you can smell the bee itself, like the fuzzy fur of the bee, the honeycomb, the pollen that it's getting into and carrying it back to its hive. The honeycomb, the, just everything about a bee. Like you can imagine it in your, eye, you know, in your mind. It's such an amazing experience that perfume is. I mean, it's just stunning. I've smelled quite a few of the Zoologist perfumes and I love them, don't get me wrong. They're very, very unique, beautiful perfumes. That is my favorite one that I've ever smelled, hands down. It's just such an experience. I highly recommend, if you guys are into honey or anything like that, I highly recommend going to Lucky Scent and getting a little sample of it just to experience it because it's just so amazing. So, anyways guys, those are all of the honey perfumes that I have in my collection going to show you what's on my eyes and lips really quickly. I will also share my fragrance of the day or my scent of the day. So on my eyes is the Kaleidos Futurism Sci-Fi Palette. This is a stunning, stunning palette. Um, that is what she looks like. The shimmers in this palette, not shimmers, I keep wanting to call them shimmers, they're not, they're uh, foiled shades, are stunning. They're absolutely like melted, like 
molten metal. They're beautiful. Um, I love that palette. The what is on my lips is a two discontinued products. Unfortunately, this is why I really don't do beauty video videos anymore because um, I use discontinued products all the time. They're some of my favorites and yeah so anyways um this is fiona styles this is a brand that you used to be able to get at ulta but you can't get it anymore it's a lip liner called new amsterdam it's just basically a nude lip liner and then i went in with the french press uh, lip gloss from bite beauty and this is in the shade vanilla latte which is just kind of like a creamy nude color so anyways and then my scent of the day is Clinique Wrappings, and uh, if you saw my last video, you will see that I was talking about how cold it is outside. It's going to get down to like 21 degrees tonight, so this is one of those fragrances that I just love in the really, really cold weather. I don't know why. I just, it makes me feel cozy, even though it's kind of like a brighter, more green, um, almost like cold fragrance. It's it does something on my skin where it just warms up and just gets kind of spicy and beautiful and I just love it. That is Clinique Wrappings. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.